Kramer Trudy says, blink twice if you need rescuing. So there you go. There's the troll troll message. Obviously, you've been you've been my captive. Yep. Since February, right? What I did is I, I had a lasso and I threw it across the United States. And I lassoed her. And I slowly pulled her across the contiguous United States until she arrived in Washington. And she's wow. been tied up in my house since then, obviously. Yep. She's not actually a building, you know, resident here. Grocery shopping. After that, um, I'm trying to remember, again, the order of events. So, that's right. So, we had another appointment after that. Now, this is one. It is such a rigmarole, all right? And again, I don't want to talk too much specifically about anything because sadly people will fucking try to get personal information and or basically just say insulting stuff about me. But essentially, did you ever have one of those situations where you thought something was going to go very smoothly and by all accounts, it should have gone very smoothly and you listened to what everyone around you told you to do to make something go very smoothly. And then when you actually go to do it, it couldn't be further away from how you expected it to go. So we're in a situation where we had to go to a certain place at a certain time. We go there. Oh, this is the wrong place. You're supposed to go down the street. We go down the street. No, this is the wrong place. I don't know why they told you to come here. You got to go back. So we go back and they say, no, we insist that's where you got to go. Oh, wait. We actually told you the wrong thing. You were supposed to go to this other place. <laughs> like, what? So we go to this other place. Can't find it. Where is it? Finally find it, go inside. Oh, you're in the right place. Great news. But bad news is you have to wait an hour. <clears throat> so something that we thought on our day off, our one day off a week, was going to maybe take 15 minutes, no exaggeration, took about three hours of our day. Now, the good news is by the end of the three hours, all right, at least we... It got taken care of. Let's put it that way. Um, but man, the hoops we had to jump through and we were driving in circles. You know, I was like, what the frick, man? You know, it's supposed to be, again, this is supposed to be our day off. You would think, oh, someone works six days a week full time. Their day off is a nice relaxing day when they get to have time with their family and friends, when they get to do fun, meaningful things. It's like, pfft. this is our day. Now, but by the way, so we didn't finish with all that shit I'm telling you of, okay? We didn't finish with all of that until almost 6 p.m., right? And we got up early for our first appointment. So finally, we come home, and we're hungry as shit now. We're like, we got to, you know, let's order some food. We didn't even get to eat out. Remember we told you we were going to eat out at a Mexican restaurant? Like, that was our plan. We were so tired. We were like, fuck this. Let's just go home, and we'll just order food because it's too. we're so tired and exhausted from a stressful day. So we ended up just coming home and ordering food. The good news is we did order Mexican food like we had wanted. Uh, I believe, what did Kat get? Oh, she got tacos al pastor. For those who don't know, the al pastor preparation of pork um, is when they take the pork and they heavily marinate it and slow cook it. Now, traditional al pastor, isn't it? I believe they put it on that giant rotating, what do you, would you even call that? The spike or whatever? I think they, they take the layers of, of pork and they wrap it around and then they marinate and slow cook. They, they're basting it all day and then they cut it off. Now, I don't know if they actually do that at Mexican restaurants today. Probably not. They probably just marinate pork in another way. But yeah, so she, she had the tacos al pastor and she was like, oh my God, they're so amazingly good. I got um, shrimp enchiladas. Yeah, which I never had before. I've had enchiladas with like, like uh, chicken, stuff like that. I never had it with shrimp. It's a little different. When they do them with shrimp, what they do is they put, instead of the red sauce, they put an a la crema sauce, which is like a, a white, creamy, cheesy sauce. And it was pretty good with the shrimp. I was thinking maybe the red sauce, the Mexican red sauce, wouldn't go that well with shrimp, but they put the other sauce on, and it was actually really, really good. <clears throat> so, um, we had a nice meal, which was nice. It was a really good meal. We were very pleased with how the meal was. <clears throat> and then uh, basically for the rest of the night, we just kind of relaxed. Nope. <laughs> nope, that didn't happen. We had to prepare um, for heat. And what I mean by that is, yesterday actually was a pretty warm day here in Washington State. <clears throat> and it's funny because we were preparing for heat for like the week because all week long, the forecast here in Washington State was that it was supposed to be either in the mid to high 70s or the low 80s degrees Fahrenheit, that is, by the way, which is warm for here. Usually we don't have warmth that much here in Washington State. And when that happens, the homes out here 
were built to retain heat. So if it's 80 degrees outside, it's probably about 95 degrees inside, okay? So we wanted to make sure that we were ready for that last year during the summertime. We had insanely record high heat here in Washington State. It was 111 degrees one day, which is the highest it's ever been recorded. Um, and they're basically saying, hey, it's global warming. We might not get heat like that again right away, but expect higher temperatures than we ever had before. It's just going to keep happening. So this year, we prepared. We, earlier in the year, we already got another air conditioner. So now I have an air conditioner here. I have an air conditioner in the room across the hallway, and now we have an air conditioner for the bedroom. So what happens is <clears throat> we turn everything on, okay? And now all the cold air is on the top floor and pushes down the stairwell down to the bottom floor. What happened previously was we only had two air conditioners, and it wasn't enough to push the air downstairs. So the top floor would be cool, and the bottom floor would be hot as shit, all right? This is what happened last year. It sucked ass, okay? So what's funny is we're preparing. We had all this preparation, right? So yet last night we're like, oh, it's going to get hot. You know, we're being told it's going to get really, really hot here in Washington State. So we're going to install all the air conditioners. So we did. We actually made sure that all the air conditioners in the house, you know, I previously put mine in here last week, but we installed all the air conditioners in the house now, okay? So we're ready for the heat. We're good to go. We are like, yes, bring it on. I look at the weather, guess what? It's only going to be like 72, and then it's going back down to the 60s. So the weather that they had said like two days before was wrong as fuck. Now everything's cool again. So in reality, we didn't have to rush to install all the air conditioners. It's nice that they're in. So now if we have a hot day or night, we can we can cool the house down. But it just sucks that we kind of like ran to do it. We were in a big rush. Oh, God, let's get it done on our day off. Of all days, the day off when we're already stressed, off, stressed out and busy, um... That's the day we wanted to do it, but whatever. It's done now, okay? So after that, so now I'm not even kidding. It's probably like 8, 9 p.m. We finally sat down for the first time in the entire day off. And for like maybe two, three hours, uh, we watched some Master Chef, And we relaxed. And we had a good time together, actually. At that point, I actually tweeted out. I was like, wow, I'm actually relaxing with my wife and we're having a good time. It took that long to get to that point, though. So, there you have it. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Phil's day off. 